Germany just discovered one of the world's largest lithium deposits beneath its own soil, and China's watching every move they make. This 43 million ton discovery comes as Europe races to break free from Chinese control over electric vehicle batteries. According to Neptune Energy's CEO Andreas Scheck, this find enables us to contribute significantly to the German and European supply market for lithium. The numbers are staggering, enough lithium to power 15 million electric vehicles for decades. But why has Europe been so desperate to find its own lithium supply? Right now, China controls 70% of global lithium processing. Every European electric car depends on batteries that pass through Chinese factories first. When supply chains broke during 2020, European automakers watched production lines grind to a halt. Germany imports 95% of its lithium from Chile, Argentina and Australia, but China processes most of it before it reaches European factories. This gives Beijing leverage over every electric vehicle Europe produces. The Altmark discovery changes everything. Located in Saxony-Anhalt, this deposit sits beneath existing natural gas fields that Germany has operated for 55 years. Neptune Energy isn't using traditional mining methods either. They're deploying direct lithium extraction technology, a process that pulls lithium from underground brine without massive open pits or toxic evaporation ponds. Axel Wenker, Neptune's director of new energy, explained the advantage. The Altmark region combines geological potential, established infrastructure and technical know-how, perfect conditions to complete the transformation from natural gas production to environmentally friendly lithium extraction. But Germany faces a race against time. Chinese companies have already locked up lithium supplies across Africa and South America for the next 20 years. European car makers currently pay three times more for batteries than their Chinese competitors. The European Union set ambitious targets, 30 million electric vehicles on European roads by 2030. Without domestic lithium, those cars will run on Chinese batteries. Germany's government response has been immediate. Officials issued what they call the Build 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 Directive, ordering rapid construction of processing facilities and production lines. Economic Times analysts report this could strengthen Europe's position by reducing reliance on imports that have created vulnerability during global disruptions. The stakes go beyond economics. Every tonne of lithium Germany extracts domestically is one less tonne controlled by foreign powers. 20,000 German jobs depend on trade relationships that this discovery could completely restructure. Neptune Energy completed its third pilot project last month. They're extracting battery-grade lithium using ion exchange technology, borrowed from water treatment plants. No massive mines, no environmental disasters, just pipes drawing brine from two miles underground. This technology matters because German environmental regulations would never allow Chilean-style evaporation ponds that stretch for miles across deserts. The direct extraction process uses 90% less water and produces lithium in weeks instead of 18 months. But scaling from pilot projects to industrial production requires massive investment. Germany needs refineries, chemical plants and battery factories. Infrastructure China spent two decades building. The timing couldn't be more critical. Tesla's Berlin factory produces half a million vehicles annually all using batteries from Chinese suppliers. Volkswagen invested 90 billion euros in electric vehicle development, but still depends on Asian battery cells. Germany's discovery could supply lithium for every European car maker, but only if they move fast enough. Chinese companies are already offering to help develop the Altmark deposits. They propose joint ventures that would give them access to European lithium while maintaining control over processing technology. European officials remember what happened with solar panels. Germany invented the technology, China manufactured it cheaper, and now Beijing controls 80% of global production. The Altmark lithium won't come cheap. Direct extraction costs more than traditional mining. German labor costs exceed Chinese wages by 500%. Environmental standards add millions to development costs. But independence has its own value. Every electric Volkswagen, BMW and Mercedes using German lithium is one less vehicle dependent on Chinese supply chains. 
The real question isn't whether Germany can extract the lithium. It's whether Europe can build an entire battery industry before China locks down the market completely.